Welcome back, y'all. I'm Mike Bibb, a.k.a. Sporty Rich. Now, understand this. A lot of ball players come uptown and make their debut in this summer league right here. It is the best basketball tournament in the country for street ballers, college players, and NBA players. But right now, we're going to take a journey and go see my man Sean Kilpatrick. He's going up to Cincinnati, y'all, repping in the Big East. But let's see how he looked and how he got down off the basketball court before he makes his EBC debut. A 6'5 guard from White Plains, Sean Kilpatrick is a key member of Jada Kiss's Team 914. Equally as thrilling for Kilpatrick is the opportunity to play with one of Westchester's best ballers, Tori Thomas. A 5'10 point guard, Thomas has been a star in the EBC since the age of 16 and enjoys a professional career in Europe, one that has caught the eyes of several NBA teams. Kilpatrick and his mentor Thomas are planning to bring the EBC crown to White Plains, New York. <laughs> This is what it's all about. At least the world is getting to know and getting to see what, what I do. I, I feel as if the EBC and the Rucker Park is basically the mecca of the world. I mean, everybody always want to come down here and just play at the Rucker. The first time I've been there, I looked at it like, yo, I have to play here someday. And now look. That hunger is always there. And it's for real when you go down and see in New York City parks, when you see those big buildings, 20 stories high for three blocks long, that means something and it doesn't really happen anywhere else in the world. The difference between New York City players and the rest of the world is, is the grittiness, the swagger that they bring. They never back down, they always coming back. It's what everybody talk about, the Rucker, EBC in New York. You got, you got to get your point across here. This is my main barber right here, this is my man B. Yep. About to get fresh for the game, man, because Rucker's a big deal. Yo, you ever play in the Ruckers, man? Nah, man, I mean, this is the first time experiencing thing, man, but I know my brother here, he's he been playing here since he was 16. Hopefully he can show me through the ropes today a little bit. That's what it's all about, though, man. <laughs> Going down there, proving yourself to any and everybody, showing them what it is and showing them what you can do. Hey, yo, killer, between you and Sticks, who had more points in high school? I think I did, man. Honestly, I think I got him. I think I got him. <laughs> How many I career think. points you have, brother? I mean... How many career points? Damn. Now, ask him how many more points per game you had. Ask him that. Because when it comes down to it, That's right. I had 35 on Mount Vernon. But guess what? But, got what? No wins. but the rings. Y'all don't got no wings. Exactly. I got them rings. But you the hear rings me? I got too. them rings. I did this in college, and I got a ring for Holy Cross, HLE. And, and, and Listen, he going to Cincinnati, and I big my little brother up, but he got to still do it now. It, I finished that. I'm going on to my pro level. He got to come up, be a Cincinnati, and take them to the Big East Championship. All right, y'all, yo, come on by, yo, you know what I'm saying? Yo, good luck with y'all. White Plains got my heart. This is where I was born and raised. It means a lot. It means my whole epitome of who I am. It's like almost a little bit, a mini street in Harlem. We got all type of ethnicities that come through here, that live here. And that's why it translates to where when I get up on that court, I can make it happen because I have that heart, that hunger and determination. This stoop is one of the biggest parts of my life. It, ironically, my mother would never allow me to come over here. A lot of people feel like this stoop is something of negativity, but I feel like this stoop is what raised me to become a man. The stoop is where a single parent household, you know, really can't show a man certain things that he needs to learn in the streets and to be the person that he could be. What I don't want this to understand is the stagnation that the stoop can cause. So that's why I could come back to the stoop and smile, but I never would want to stay on this type of stoop. Everybody got a thing for calling me killer in, in New York. I don't know how it's gonna be at, at Rucker Park, but hopefully they, I could stay with that name and. Whatever nickname they give me, I'm just going to do it. But I know it's going to be a good reason why they gave me that nickname. All right, now, we just checked Sean out. Let's see how he going to do on the basketball court. Let's go to the commercial. You know how we do. We got to pay the bills, y'all. <laughs> 